scrappy friends welcome back i lay out today another one that i created whilst at the warrington crop uh, today we are just taking part in 12 days of christmas blog hop um so not blog hop youtube hop i'm still using wood grain because i just kind of did wood grain on every layout i did that saturday because i wasn't quite sure what days i'll be posting so i thought I'd, you know make sure everything could fit into wood grain in winter so what the heck we'll do every day <laughs> with wood grain um so pictures are still from christmas 2014 and these are photos of uh, family opening gifts that is a picture of uh, someone who was celebrating with us that year um whose permission i don't have to share their photo so that's the white square down at the bottom at the photos at the end i kind of just grabbed a post-it note and stuck it over the photo so it's really orange um but yeah i think this was another one that was inspired by page maps uh by one of the december page maps i think um i i know i had them with me they kind of do end up looking different to the page maps the ones that i did this day that that were used inspired by a sketch um but you know did tend to be a i think it for this it was the way the pictures are placed was where i got the inspiration from the sketch for now just i do decide that on this i'm trying to use these chipboard pieces in this collection they are huge so with the merit i have pulled off a layer a couple of layers so it's only about half the depth of the 25 so i kind of like it because it gives the different heights in the page i'm just going through the papier papier set um to pull out some pieces to embellish I use that journaling piece with the uh, the, the ornaments sticking out through the 25 uh do you have a play with those um what are they border strips but because i've not got two of the green i do abandon that i don't want to use the red because it's the red inking on the back the red inking i've used evergreen and holly stencil so not from this year's peppermint and kisses but previous one of vicky's christmas collection i think most of the embellishments i use on this are from the um the paper set it's just jam-packed box full of stuff, the big journaling pieces and smaller elements. It's just fantastic. I do use as a ticket, which is a um, it's free pass to the good list, uh, which I thought was quite funny. Um, <laughs> the picture of my brother with the Toblerone, it is tradition. And my sister always gets him a Toblerone and always finds a different way to wrap it up every year. My youngest niece there with Lady and the Tramp. Uh, my mum, I bought her Lady from the Disney store. So we bought her the Tramp. Uh, so she had both. And then I can't remember what Amy's got, but she's wearing her Minions hat. Uh, so yeah, I, I disappear for a bit to do a wax seal. So using seeing Red and this is the Christmas present wax seal. I absolutely love this. Uh, just colouring it in with the silver pen. Um, I do smudge a bit off, so when you see the close ups at the but at the end, you'll see a bit missing on the the coloured in silver bit. That is just because I handled it too soon before it had, it had dried. So I decide that I need to make the background pop a little bit. I wasn't sure on what to do i was thinking of adding more mixed media to it or some stitching but i did go with uh, just matting it i took it half an inch off each side you'll see me in a bit going i couldn't remember which side was up to um i take half an inch off each side so it's 11 inch square and i back it on a 12 inch square piece of black cardstock and then just adding everything back in um, I do go through the paper pad again in a bit and pull out a blue stars piece of background paper. I just decide that I do need something down that uh, right hand side. So I'm just placing everything back on, making sure it all fits still with me taking that inch off. 
do move things about and and that's those stars move quite a few times for a finish and so does that free pass to the good list sticker so yeah just pulling out some other papers now to use to do a border along the edge so I just use my ruler here to tear a piece so I still wanted the tear look to match the right side of the paper but I wanted it a little bit straighter than the right side so I do use my ruler as a guide for the tearing and I trim an inch off the bottom of that to make it the right length and then add so with these reading from the paper pad the manufacturer strips that you would usually get on uh, open stock paper aren't quite the same because they're the bits with the hole in for hanging um so it is a case of finding a way i like using these and it's just using them in a way where you're covering where the hole is up so i've cut one inch off one end so it's the right lens i then that free pass to the good list that then i turn it on its side and it ends up covering the hole um so so yeah just sticking everything down now and i do end up pulling another piece out i pulled that sheet out because i wanted to use that branded strip i didn't want to it wasn't actually for using that piece of paper i'm just roughing the edge up with my finger nail now it's just because it's got the perforated edge on these pieces and i just want it to look distressed on purpose rather than just that perforated edge and yeah just starting to stick everything down and then decide the final placing of everything um i am still struggling with this cold so i am gonna jump out for a bit here whilst you watch me finish placing everything and um enjoy the music Got to begin with these hearts were washy so i'm putting a diesel on the back and then remember oh wait a minute they're washy um peel the backing off so yeah <laughs> so that christmas as well is also washy um and just fiddling about pulling the backing off these pieces to add them uh, i do then 
And I'm worried about when it's in the album, it is going to push those uh, washy pieces, the hearts that are up on top of the Merry and the 25. Um, so it's going to push it down. I do actually get the 3D foam out and add a little behind that to help hold those bits up. So I have to play around for a while as to where that present's going. Um, what I do end up doing, because I do want to stick it down and finish the page without losing it, uh, but the photo's not there for the recording, uh, I actually will, in a minute, just put a glue on the bottom right, bottom left, sorry, and stick it there and make sure that the piece uh, of white I've got in place of the photo still slides up in and out um, with the stars i do end up ripping them and just tucking them under places um thanks for that idea jackie i think it looks brilliant it just instead of them you know just randomly being stuck out and coming off the page as it is um although the bottom green one on the right does end up there you go you see me just sticking the corner there um right so that's nearly done thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and check out the other 12 days of christmas contributors and i'll see you again another time Bye bye